Hello, hello to all my friends in the United Fanzine Organization, the UFO, and hello, hello also to uh, friends of the UFO. So if you're watching a link to this, it might be on our private UFO members only site. Did you know that existed? You have to be a member to experience that one. Or the public United, Fan United Fanzine Organization website, uh, uh, which uh, like lots of people are, hundreds of people are a member of that site, uh, you know. But the main thing, you know, if you, if, you know, if you want to be a UFO member, you have to contact me. You can send me an email or whatever, and you have to publish a small press comic, and uh, you know, there's a whole lot of details. But we're not gonna. I would like to concentrate on that because I'd like to get some uh, young members into the group. Some of us have been in the group for like 50 years or more. You know I mean? Like a long, long time. And look at this old geezer right here. You know, I'm still putting them out, knocking out small press comics and stuff. I need more light in here. I need more light in here. But, uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's still a lot of fun. In this digital world, uh, which I haven't, uh, uh completely, uh, uh, acclimated to, as witness of uh, some of the color covers of the last couple of uh, tetragrammaton fragments, the UFO newsletters that I've published, so, uh, when people send me digital artwork, and I'm trying to do things the old-fashioned way by, you know, making a press proof and pasting things together and going to Kinko's and print them on Kinko's printers, and there are limitations to this. This doesn't always work. Thus, well, uh, speaking directly to UFO members, we had Steve Shipley's cover uh, for Tetragrammaton Fragments, number 258. I think it looks pretty good. You know, the lighting is here is not very good anyway, so you're not going to be able to see very well. I'm just, uh, I'm in a small room here, and like I say, I need, I need to get some more powerful, uh, super solar-powered, turbo-charged, uh, uh, you know, uh, atomic lights in here. Anyway, uh, the screens in the background are kind of faded out. Uh, but this is more pronounced uh, with Kurt Erickson's new cover. Where, where is there more light? Over here? Uh, Kurt sent a beautiful, beautiful cover. And I feel especially bad about this because it's the first uh, time uh, one, of Kurt's, one of Kurt's covers has appeared on an issue of Tetragrammaton Fragments in like 45 years. And um, it was the, the graduated computer screens uh, pretty much completely dropped out. Now... I was in a hurry to get this issue out, and I should have noticed it sooner, and I should have done something about it, and, uh, you know, I can only say, sorry folks, sorry Kurt especially, I apologize, uh, I think I'll hold off on color covers for a little while until I get this whole thing worked out, you know, look at an old geezer here who was out of small press for over a decade, and recently got back in, and things have changed, and I have to adapt to these changes, and, uh, it's a little bit of a struggle, We'll get there. If I can't get there myself, I'll get help from you guys. I know you guys are eager to help because you don't want your artwork uh, to appear and look anything less than the excellent work that it was absolutely intended to be and absolutely is. And uh, so again, I apologize to Kurt. I still think this is a pretty good issue uh, with the Larry Johnson back cover. One of the things, um, Kinko's copiers aren't very good and... Um, also, I have to deal with, because I, I cut and pasted the, the thing up, uh, I have to deal with paste-up lines, and I decrease the density a little bit to decrease the paste-up lines. And this also decreased the quality of the artwork. Well, I just made mistakes. Listen, I had a rough... The last few months have been tough. Uh, they started cutting my hours at my main job, and uh, so I got a part-time job. Uh, to supplement my income or to get it back up to where it should be and immediately after that my primary job which is at a retail store and pharmacy uh, because of the COVID uh, you know COVID they started COVID testing and all of a sudden they needed more help where they've been cutting my hours for months uh, all of a sudden they started increasing my hours what happened is all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I had a wealth of hours. I'm working two jobs. I'm working all the time, day and night, morning to midnight, and I didn't have time to do anything. And I really didn't want to be behind on this issue of, of tetragrammaton fragments. So I did the best I could. And as soon as I found an available day or a half of a day, I went down. I got everything. You know, I was working every night. I worked. to come home late, and I was. 
at work on TF, pasting things up and working hard. And that one day, I went down to get it, to get it copied, to get the thing out. And I was in such a hurry that I overlooked uh, the cover. But the rest of the book, I think, took, looks great. And I think I'll reprint that cover and Steve Shippey's cover in a, a much uh, better quality uh, sometime soon in a special edition. Um, I know we have, we're going to have a UFO Jam comic coming up pretty soon. That's something I'm getting ready to start. Each member is going to be doing a page. And uh, we're going to do it through. We're going to do it online. And I want it to turn out nice. So uh, we're going to work on this. And we're going we're gonna to master this. We're going to solve uh, any problems. Uh, but I might... You know, I might just uh, reprint those covers in that particular issue, just to show you folks just how good it's supposed to look, how good those art, the artwork was. Kurt's cover was incredible, and you now it's washed out. And I just so I feel bad about it. You know, mm. But we're gonna keep going. You know, we're gonna we're not gonna sit around and you know feel sorry and say, oh my goodness, uh, you know, I feel bad. I'm a jerk. No, I got a job to do. <laughs> it's more than a job. It's a joy. It's an adventure. I love being in the UFO. I'm so glad to be back, and I'm so glad to be chairman, and I'm so glad to be... Uh, I'm so glad that there's such a great membership out there. I mean, you guys are terrific, and you deserve the best. And uh, by golly, I promise you, I'm going to work to make sure that this happens. You know, that you get the best. In the meantime, I recently published The Raven number 2. Here it is. Doug Freeman's amazing artwork on the inside. Immediately afterwards, uh, people said, uh, can I get a copy of the Raven number one? Well, the Raven number one was published like 2006, a long, long time ago. It's been long out of print. Uh, but I do have my copy of the Raven number one. I don't have the original artwork, but I'll go down and I'll go to Kinko's. There's no color here, so it'll turn out okay. I'm just going to copy and make a reprint edition from this copy. A lot of you will be getting this for free. Uh, some folks can order on eBay, but it's going to be... We're gonna, we're gonna because it's been so long and people are the, the the saga especially as Doug Freeman has crafted it has written it lately uh, based on what came before which I wrote of course but Doug has carried this thing further and um, and I think it's people want to want to read the whole story you know they want they want to know the whole thing they want to know what led up uh, uh, to the events in the Raven number two. And what about the hangman? And what about the mayor? Uh, where does where does all start? And where's it going? And so we're gonna I'm gonna reprint this one just to give folks more information. And because folks might enjoy uh, seeing Tim Corrigan's uh, fantastic artwork on this uh, on this issue from 2006. R.I.P. Tim, we really miss you. Um, what else can I tell you? My daughter gave me one of my daughters. Both my daughters are awesome. One of them gave me uh, uh, this for Christmas. The complete Abbott and Costello collection. Every single movie that Abbott and Costello ever did. How can you lose with that one, right? Uh, meanwhile, I posted a video of the Lowly Wedding Dance with my daughter Judy and me dancing at her wedding. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get a copyright strike and tune into this for a second. Here it is on Vimeo. It's on YouTube and all over the place. This is when my daughter Judy got married uh, last year, and uh, and there we are. As you can see, I, I I took it totally seriously. So we were dancing. What is this doing in the middle of a UFO uh, video? This is totally self-indulgent, right? I don't care. Uh, I'm doing this. It's my video. I'll do whatever the heck I want to do. It was a wonderful time. Um, I couldn't resist having a little fun. Hopefully that'll be coming up here shortly. People are going, aww and ooh. I'm going to edit this thing so you don't have to uh, sit. Here we go. This is the good part. Went a little nuts there. And, uh, yeah. So there we go. We're swinging it, having a great time. Not doing Rod Stewart any justice or the song any justice, but we're having a great time. And that was at uh, Judy's uh, wedding. Yep. Okay, let's pause this. Now, what does this got to do with the UFO? Absolutely nothing. I don't care. 
Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff coming out from you guys. I can see a lot of stuff coming out in the near future. And I got the zoom lens zoomed way in. I just got this. Where is it? Down here? Down here from uh, Larry Johnson, Tales of the Broken Bee. Haven't read it yet. I love the artwork, of course. And uh, he and the Steve Shipley are both doing Western-style stuff, which is cool. So, um, and the next newsletter will be out in February. Um, Larry Johnson is still doing the color uh, uh, checklist, color version of the checklist. And I sent him the original. I sent him the original checklist as I write it up, and he, he turns out a beautiful color co uh, version uh, with uh, uh, cover scans and everything. So, uh, some of you may be a little behind on your dues and stuff. I'm giving everybody mercy. And we're going to hang in there because you all got, you guys all deserve to be in the group. And, uh, let's see, can I think of anything else right now? I just wanted to knock this video out in a hurry. And, um, so, I just won't, I just won't linger here. Um, but uh, good to hear from you. Uh, David Brandstetter sent a comic, uh, Strange Frequencies, for the new issue of TF. Thank, great to hear from you, Dave. Um, Rob Imes uh, sent Nose Notes. Nose, nose Notes, Nose Notes, Nose Notes, blah, 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 blah. Nose Notes. And a uh, uh, column by Jason Bullock, uh, the new TF. Like I can say it, it turned out pretty good overall. You know, it's just the cover. It's the only thing I'm embarrassed by. But the rest of the issue uh, seems to be fine. Everybody's pretty much caught up on their dues and stuff. So don't worry. Just hang in there. And uh, it's happy oh, happy holidays no matter what. No matter what we've been through. Happy holidays to everyone. Okay. So I'll end this. And uh, I won't even mention that uh, one of my daughters also sent me Bill and Ted Face the Music. I love it. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah. Who'd have thought Keanu Reeves would go back to playing this part? But I'm glad he did. He did a great job. I've forgotten how funny he could be. Being an action guy and all that stuff. Alright, you guys have a great day. Have a happy holiday. Have a wonderful happy new year. And, uh, all the Christmas money that people sent you, go ahead and spend it. I already spent mine. Uh, gift cards, go ahead and use them. If you got chocolate, you got cookies and stuff, eat it. Go ahead and get fat. You can lose the weight in the spring. And I'll see you guys next time. Have, have a great uh, new year. Bye-bye, folks.